In today's video, we are going to be looking at how to improve consistency for all bowling types. For this video, we are going to be focusing on seam, off spin and leg spin. We are going to go through three different phases. In each phase, we are going to have a drill that if you can master, will help you get the consistency that you desire. In phase one, we are going to focus on our alignment within the crease. So for seamers and for off spinners, we're going to go up and down along the net with the net on our open side and on our closed side. This is to make sure that we get nice and high in our action and that through the action we don't fall away to either side. So everything is driving towards our target nice and forward and making sure we're nice and strong. Where it does change is for the wrist spinner, the leg spinner. Because your arm naturally drops a bit lower, so if you bowl with the open side on that side, you're going to hit your hand into the net. So we're only going to focus with that from the close side to make sure that you're getting nice and through the action with the front arm moving towards your body and driving nice and forward. These rules will be identical for right-handers and left-handers. We're going to inverse some of the clips to show you what we mean. Moving into phase two, we are going to be focused on our alignment towards the crease, going through the crease, and then our alignment out of the crease. You can see we have set up cones in a straight line with a tunnel. For all three action types, we are going to be running through this tunnel to force us to go towards our target. You are always going to be attacking off stump with your runner. This gives us the best chance to adapt with whatever we are doing. Then once we're in the crease, we're going to use what we learned in draw one or phase one and take that through, making sure that we're strong and lined up correctly towards our target and bowling through that line. So our run up line and our crease line are all working towards the same target. From there, our follow through line, we're going to make sure that that first hurdle we don't land on, so we're not kicking across in the crease. And the other hurdles are there to help us filter out of our follow through in the correct channel. This is important as a follow through takes a lot of the strain from the action off of your body and allows your body not to hurt itself by allowing you ease of exit from a bowling action. Seeing as though we're speaking about consistency, if you consistently watch our videos, why don't you consider becoming a member? The link will be down below. For phase three, we are now going to try and use everything that we did in phase one and phase two. But now we are going to see where our actual consistency is on the pitch. We are going to be bowling six balls. The person with you is going to be marking where each ball lands. So that we've got a visual aid to see where each ball is going. So we can see how big our target area actually is and the lines that we are bowling. The most important thing for this is to try and make sure that your lines are good. Because you focus a lot on alignment. Once you get the lines right, the length will come with practice. So as long as initially the lines are good, you work backwards towards the length. The more you do this, the easier it will be to connect the length and the line together so that you can be as consistent as possible. Thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like below. Also remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can get all our content as soon as it releases. And also leave us a comment below on who you think was the most consistent line and length bowler in cricket history.